dwells and predominantly occurs in giraffe zone close to Capitan Yami. Uh, this conservation success is a result of targeted activities implemented by the government of Niger, supported by local communities and NGOs. The close coexistence between giraffe in the giraffe zone um, sometimes results in conflict and crop damages. In November of 2018, eight giraffes were uh, reintroduced into Gadabeji Biosphere Reserve, where they locally extinct in 1970s. This translocation was conducted by Giraffe Conservation Foundation in support, with the support of government of Niger and uh, with help from other partners. Uh, the study aims to assess people's uh, attitude and perception towards the giraffe and compare the attitudes of people between the two study sites, giraffe zone and Gadabeji Biosphere Reserve. So we used a questionnaire survey, which was conducted in July 2020. In giraffe zone, we collected 212 uh, questionnaires and in Gadabeji Reserve, we collected 100 questionnaires. Villages and respondents were randomly uh, selected and uh, questionnaires were developed in English and then translated in French. The survey was conducted by local student, by local interpreter to reduce bias. Moreover, he also can speak the local languages. And then the data was proceed in statistical software and he square test was used. So we have some preliminary results. Um, the people living in the giraffe zone have more issues with giraffe nearby than people living around Gadabeji Biosphere Reserve. It might be influenced by several factors. Uh, giraffe numbers in giraffe zone, it's much higher than in Gadabeji. And the main occupation of people from giraffe zone is agriculture while the people in, in Gadabeji are herders and the occupation inf influence the people's response to that issue. On the graphs, you can uh, see uh, the, the responses or the answers on the question if the people have a problem with the gi giraffe living nearby. The upper uh, graph is from uh, giraffe zone where the people are uh, the, the main occupation is the agriculture and the uh, um, harvesting of crops. And uh, the second or the below graph is from Gadabeje, where the people are herders. The presence uh, of giraffe were, was perceived as beneficial by almost 48% of respondents in giraffe zone and only by 14% uh, in, uh, giraffes, in the Gadabeji Biosphere Reserve. Although the human giraffe coexistence is not perceived to be totally beneficial, people are predominantly happy living with the, uh, with the giraffe. In giraffe zone, it was 95% and in, in Gadabeji, it was 98% who uh, said that they are happy to have giraffe nearby. On the graph, you can see the answers on the question if the presence of giraffe is beneficial for the people. 14% 14, 14 of respondents from giraffe zone indicated that giraffe presence allows them to get extra money, while only 4% in Gadabeji Reserve. According to the respondents, uh, neither giraffe zone nor Gadabeji offers them the job in the tourism, and people in giraffe zone indicated that they use giraffe bones, feces, and urine for traditional medicine, while no respondents from Gadabeji use it. As the population of giraffe, humans, and livestock is increasing, so is the human giraffe conflict. Despite the high tolerance towards giraffe, the conflict and potential issue is likely to continue. Increasing conflict will likely shape people's future attitude, but the long-term conservation of the West African giraffe is highly dependent on local communities and their tolerance. 
it's crucial to understand the uh, to understand and appropriately manage giraffe human coexistence to make sure that benefits overweigh the cost and also to support ongoing local conservation uh, initiatives and that's that's all and thank you for your attention